A lot of people have been asking me about my setup, my hydroponics setup. I started hydroponics, doing hydroponics about six months ago, and I did it mainly because I like to grow greens and lettuce and things like that all year round. And you can only really get them in the spring around here. In the summertime it's too hot, they don't grow, they get bitter. So I wanted to find a way where I could grow them year round, have a constant supply. So I decided to get us into some hydroponics. I didn't want to spend a lot of money doing it, just to try it out in case it was a failure, or I didn't like it, or for whatever reason. So I went and got these 97 cent shoe boxes from Walmart, and I painted them black with some spray paint, cover the top with foil. I got some neck cups, and um, some nutrient solution. Nutrient solution, right here. Flora Grow, General Hydroponics. This is about $12. There's also a micronutrient solution, so that's another $12 for a micro. I guess you have to have a both. You need a third one if you want it to flower. Um, I don't want my lettuce to flower, so I didn't get that one. I just got the two for the the two for the grow and then for the and the, for the micronutrients. And then for my lighting situation, I've had these lights for a couple years because I like to start tomato seeds in the basement in the spring. Um, these are just two shop lights. It's about 10 bucks each. And then the bulbs, another six, seven, eight dollars. And the back one is a newer one. They're T8 bulbs, the brown one just traditional T12 bulbs. And they work great for germinating and growing greens. Now, this one, I feel like the lettuce does a little bit better in these smaller boxes, and I'm not sure why. As you can see, I've got a larger box over here. This is a three gallon box that I decided to upgrade to because I thought it would last a little bit longer. I'm growing these cracky style, with the cracky method where there's no air pumps, there's no um, aeration going on at all. It's just a reservoir of water and nutrients. Um, these don't hold quite enough water to grow two heads of lettuce for 30 days, so you have to refill them. I've got a little window over here where you can see how much water is left in there, and you can see the roots growing right there. Um, you can have to fill them back up, and you can fill it back up a little bit, but you don't want to drown the plant by filling it too full since there's no aeration. Um, what I've been doing is growing them, starting the seeds in these little peat pellets, and then I put the peat pellets right into hydrogen, probably can't see it down there, into the reservoir, and I leave the dip the neck cups about a quarter inch into the water, and then as the seedlings grow down, the roots go into the water, and, and they take up the water and the nutrients, so you can kind of see it there. Um, this time I decided to try something new. I started these in the peat pellets. But I, after I, they germinated, I tore the peat off and just kind of rinsed them in the water and I stuck them directly in the water and in the hydrogen. And we'll see if these fall over dead or if they do, do a little bit better. I don't feel like they've been getting as mature as I would like them to. The roots have been rotting, turning brown. And I don't know if it's because it was too hot in here during the summer. It was about 75, 76 degrees. Right now we're about 71 degrees. Um, maybe they'll do better now that it's winter time. But... As you can see, this one is doing better than this one, and I don't know if it's because they don't have enough nutrients in this water, or if it's just because it's higher, closer to the lights, hotter, the black top gets hotter. Um, it's just not growing quite as well as this one. Anyway, I'm excited to see how these perform, because if they do better without the peat pellet on the plants, then I may go that route in the future. But for now, we're just going to see if they stay upright and don't fall over dead. Anyway, that's my setup. I have a little webcam over here hooked to a Raspberry Pi that I use for my automatic watering system in the spring when I start seedlings. It's hooked to a relay, which is hooked to a solenoid, which I then hook to a five gallon bucket, and that lets the water go out and water the plants. For now, we're growing lettuce. So I will post an update when these survive or die. And I plan on these on the 24th of November, Thanksgiving. And these about two and a half weeks before that. And that's all. Thanks for watching.